as and like always, man, you can um, also enter the Fortnite Creator Code YPD Walls to help out your boy. You know, you know, help me out, man. So if you buy stuff, buying costumes and stuff, enter that code. But here's the video everybody been wanting. Wait, no. Here's the immortalization deadline for 2K20. Heads up. Deadline to immortal, be immortalized 2K20 is May 31st. Get it in between now and then. We want to see more 99. That's cool. But once again, 2K fails again because they could have released and told us about this. Like, man, when the game come out, release, let us know it's going to be in May, the ending of May or something like that. But it's on the screen. You see Ronnie 2K tweeted um, actually today. This morning, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's 3.50 p.m. He tweeted it at 10.53 a.m. So there you go, man. Everybody need to grind up. You know what I'm saying? To grind up. But needless to say, if you haven't if you haven't started, yo, if you haven't started uh, taking the gang serious, if you've been like this, you know, I'm, you hit 99 because you've been thinking there wasn't going to be a deadline. You're sadly mistaken. But I'm, I'm not going to get deep deep into that. But what I will get deep into is show, explain to y'all how to wrap up. Okay, the easiest way to wrap up in this game, um, depending on the bar you at, like I said, it does get harder once you get to the 97, 98 bar. Those are the only difficult bars to wrap up, 97, 98 bar. Um, the rest of the bars is just what it is. But um, how I will break it down, here's, here's a couple here's a couple different ways how I will break it down. Uh, like if do 10% a day, like if you want like a 93 bar, like you're still getting like 2% a game maybe or something like that, you can do 10% a day. You can do five, six micro games, 10%, bam, you're done. And then you, 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 you ace that bar, what, in 10 days? You know what I'm saying? But this is a, a rep method for the guys who are, uh, are, are 97s or 98s and whatever. You know what I'm saying? You still have plenty of time to actually hit it. Like, um, don't think you're out of it. Even if you're like a 90, 97 at 50% and you like don't have no girlfriend, don't have no responsibilities and you know all that stuff and you just sit on the game and play the game all day, you can do that because you can still get 10% of it. Well, I'll take that back. i take that back. If you ain't 98 already, it's over with. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I was trolling a little bit just to get y'all hopes up. But no, seriously, if you're not like, I say if you're not like well over 50% at being a 98, it's really over to be immortalized. That still doesn't mean that you still can't hit 99. As you can see, I was a more I was a more immortalized legend last year. This year, I'm not going to hit the immortalized date, but I'm still going to rep up the 99 just uh, for my uh, subscribers, followers, and viewers. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be a top rep every year, whether I immortalize or not. Hopefully, um, the people who get immortalized um, in 2K20, they get be they get better prizes in 2K. Uh, they get they get better prizes in the upcoming 2K. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, they do. Because this year, um, they didn't really give us anything besides our name on the big wall, which is kind of silly. But hopefully, they may upgrade um, you being immortalized in the game and, and all that stuff. But uh, I, me personally, I don't, I don't understand why... I don't understand why they. I don't understand why 2K would even cut a, make a day to be 99. Hit a hit 99 by a certain day, and this will happen to you. I don't. I don't get that. It's like they should just make. They should just update their game how Fortnite updates their game. Like you can make your wall, put whoever you're gonna put on your wall. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, a week before the game cut out comes out, then you can add the rest of the names or whatever you're gonna do. You can add them to the wall, and however however else you're gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I don't see no point in them. Uh, making a deadline and um, saying, well, you got to hit it by this time, blah, 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 but it's 2K, you know, we know what to expect from 2K. I hope, hopefully 2K20 is a lot better. If 2K20, uh, here's here, here's a great idea for wrapping up, and I kind of, um, I kind of uh, thought about this um, probably like four months ago, like, if you want to be immortalized, that is, the easiest way, what you can do, find a build that's easy to wrap up. In this instance, like, I mean, a lot of people have their own opinions, but I think a pure slasher or a slasher is easy to wrap up because there's one play you can do. You can get posterized dunk, pick and roll, and uh, Lob City finisher, and then you easily get 100K easy. You know, set some screens, whatever, you get 100K. Find the e next year, if you're trying to wrap up the 99, find the easiest build that's not going to take you that long to wrap up. And then once you hit 99 on that build, then, then wrap up a play with the build that you actually wanted to play with. You know what I'm saying? That's if you care about being immortalized. Because this year, 2K really did trick us. They tricked us with all the extra bars and all the extra stuff. So, But congratulations to those who's already 99 before the deadline. Congratulations to those on the grind who's trying to be 99 before the deadline. You know what I'm saying? Um, and really, you know, 
If you ain't hit it this year, you can try again next year, man. You know, once again, smash that sub button, like up, you know, share the video. YPD Walls, man. And I'm up out of here.